Hi, my name is Sadhu Sen. I'm the Informational and Structural Cardiologist. I did my undergrad in uh, medical school from Pakistan, and I did my internal medicine residency in cardiovascular fellowship from Texas Tech El Paso. I completed my intervention and structural fellowship from Northwestern Chicago, and I recently joined the Crescent Regional Hospital here in DeSoto, uh, Lancaster. It's a community-based 89-bed hospital, which is serving the underserved community here in Lancaster. In this hospital, they recently opened a new cath lab. The benefits of the cath lab in the hospital is that if you have any patients who need any diagnostic angiogram to see if they have any blocked arteries, either of their heart or their brain arteries are blocked or their leg arteries are blocked, then you can do the angiogram. If they have any blockages, you can fix those blockages. So it's a good advantage of this community, especially to have this facility available at Crescent Regional Hospital. Being an interventional and structural cardiologist, the number of diseases which need the cath lab and the procedures, and our field is different from the open heart surgery in a way that we go through the tubes and wires through either through the wrist or groin, and we go and take pictures, and if we see any blockages, then we can go ahead and fix those blockages. But a patient should be expecting that they're gonna be coming for the procedure. We use the medication for the sedation. We not completely knock them out. They will be awake, but we're gonna be making conversation with them, and we're gonna be explaining to the procedures that what we are doing, and after the procedure, patient, most of the time, if it's an outpatient procedure, they stay for a couple of hours and then they go home. And if it's an inpatient procedure, they stay for overnight or one or two days and then they go home. Being an interventional and instructional cardiologist, the most rewarding part for me is that whenever you see any patient in a life-threatening condition and you treat those patients and they start feeling better, that's the most rewarding feeling you have. Teaching the patient about how to prevent the having these chronic diseases which can have these blocked arteries all over the body. So those are also very important part that you trying to make your community more healthier and disease free.